Hey guys, this is Kikan Yoshi with Newbish Commentaries here, and today I want to show you one of the greatest Minecraft modding tools, and it is called ModCraft. Now, ModCraft is way beyond modding. It adds many cool things. For example, it adds... Let's go down the whole entire list. First, the most important thing for modders is this, so you can manage your backups. So let's say this is when I install Movement Plus mod. If I want to, I can restore to this copy, or I can resume Excuse me, to the full game. And look at all of these and stuff, more ores, more whores, whatever, everything. It's just amazing. Alright, so next thing you really want to check out is this. Now this thing automatically creates or edits a server for you. That is amazing. Especially for a free program. Now, you can change your settings. So language, English, or Polish. Your language has been set. Now, useful tools. This goes through a list of the most useful Minecraft tools, like Cartograph. I'm actually going to download this right now. <laughs> Fuck it. Useful tools like Cartograph, LOL Editor, INV Edit, MC, and I'm not responding. Okay. Well, that's what I get for trying to download something while I'm recording. <laughs> Anyways. So, you saw that. Oh, fuck you. So you saw those useful tools. Um, Modcraft seems to be already running. Oh, it is running. Okay. So that's how it starts off. Everything is fine. Checking for, for updates. I could just get a Wally voice right there. So this is pretty cool because you can manage Minecraft. You can open your Minecraft folder. You can remove Minecraft. You can download the launcher. You can even look at your screenshots. That's, that, that's just amazing. Next up, you can view skins. This has a list of all the skins and it loads them from the server so that's why you have to wait for the skin to load if not it's gonna crash your modcraft now the reason sometimes your modcraft crashes is because this is working on a server that is that this guy buzz bought this but <laughs> that sorry modcraft this modcraft is working on a server that is that that the owner bought for fifteen dollars a month and for fifteen dollars a month, that's not a lot for like thousands of hundreds of thousands of users using this. That's why this is l this is like lagging out a lot of times. Now you may think, well, if this is just lagging out. What's the point in getting it? And I'll go and I'll get you to that point right now. You may think, and I'm not even showing you the greatest parts yet. The greatest parts is yet to come. So that you can view seeds and you can view schematics. Now schematics is like it'll teach you how to do a mob trap or many things. And in view servers, you can look at the list of the top 10 servers. I don't know where from, from Minecraft.net or something like that. I don't know how he gets it. You can also view and install like, texture packs. And that's it. Now let's get to the, to the main part, the mods. Now, now here you can look at the mods. Like I say I want movement plus. So I click, and it looks through everything that has M's. Now, this is pretty cool, because it has required mobs, so it tells you everything that, like, all the other mods need. So it's turbo models, shock API, mod loader, anything that all the good mods need. So then it has new contents mod, air, aether, arrows, backpack, better wolf, build craft, chance sword, and it's pretty cool. Because let's say you click on chance sword, as a new sword that counts on your luck so you want to know what the fuck is this so you click on it and it'll take you to the site it'll take you to the forum where you can read all about chance sword so chance sword oh it's green hey green's my favorite color i love green <laughs> battle tower mobs okay more health okay that's gay so chance sword, and that tells you how to make a chance sword and how it works. This is, this is amazing. So next thing, so it's pretty cool. Like let's say I'm going to, ooh, secret switches, mod, shelf mod, spider queen, sponges, it has everything. So let's go to top 10 downloads. I'm going to install TMA, too many items. So when I want to install this mod, it's installing. So you say downloading, unpacking. So unpacking is going to take quite a while, downloading files. Unpacking, cleaning, TMA7 installed. 
So now let's look, look I love how it categor categorizes everything. Like see people plus animal mobs, it has everything. More creatures creatures mod. Oh, this is what adds off uh, <laughs> Sly Fox and P Bat. Is P Bat a creature? Yeah he is never mind. yeah. And all the creatures. It also has creeps and weirdos, notch mod. Slimes plus it has everything. Dynamic lights, coral reef mod, that's beautiful. You guys should really get coral reef mod. And it even tells you how many times it's been um downloaded. Like as for coral reef mod, look right here it says requires Razugumi's mod loader and J U P A P I. And if and if you're like, oh my god, this mod may not work because it may contradict the notch mob which I have. So you click back up my saves, back up my Minecraft. Even if you don't click it, it does it for you. So let's say right now I just installed let's go all the way down here. Um, I just install where is it? TMA right here. So I can restore to this copy, but I'm not going to because I have the Ether mod installed. Oh, and I also installed the Ether mod with this. It was a one shot install. It was simple and it was helpful. So anyways, if you guys could donate to this guy, I don't even know who the hell he is. I don't know why I'm telling you guys to donate, but just donate. He's a he's a genius. Texture packs this is pretty cool. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.